Hey friends, winter season here and you all know we are all staying inside wearing jackets. But there is one good thing that I wait for these wonderful winters. We can have as much as lovely food, oily food, hard to digest food. We will be able to digest everything well. This is the time to eat whatever we like and we want. Let us see why and I'll also share with you a wonderful recipe that we can have during these winters. And here it is. Let us see today how to make wonderful, tasty, healthy dry fruit ladoos. They are so easy to make. We require very less time and we are not using any kind of sugar or even jaggery. The sweetness is just out of the dry fruits like dry dates, raisins and figs. Just heat the pan, add a teaspoon of A2 cow milk ghee. Once it starts melting, add the nuts of your choice. Here I have used almonds and uh, cashew nuts to fry. You may also add other nuts like pistachios, pecan nuts or even seeds can also be added like sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. It's all up to our own choice and creativity. But just use two to three kinds of nuts and seeds. Once the nuts are roasted to golden color, just remove them and now add all the dry fruits like the dry figs, dry dates and raisins. Just roast them well till they become slightly softer. Take the edible gum which is called as gond in Hindi. Just deep fry them in ghee and collect them in a bowl. Slightly dry roast even the dry coconut that we have in the same pan that we have roasted the uh, edible gum. Grind it to a powder form and keep it ready. Here is my masala mixture that I keep ready for adding into any kind of sweet dishes. It consists of dry ginger powder, cardamom powder and little bit of black pepper powder. The next step is to grind all the roasted nuts and dry fruits. Add the nuts and fruits in layers so that the dry fruits won't become very mushy and they won't get stuck to the mixy jar and hinder the whole process of grinding. Finally add the walnuts on top. There is no need to roast walnuts, we can just add them directly. Since they are in dry form, they won't make the mixture and the mixy jar very sticky. You can grind the nuts and fruits in parts if the content is in large amount. Grind the mixture in pulse mode so that it will give nice crunchy and chewy texture to the laddus. Collect the mixture back into the pan and add all the powders, the dry coconut powder, the masala powder. Now at this point we can crush the edible gum that we have roasted and add it to the dry fruit and nuts mixture and thoroughly mix the whole content well. Now just make balls out of this wonderful mixture that we have made. We don't have to add anything extra to form these balls. These ladoos are so nutritious and tasty. I am sure everybody in the family will love them. Thank you all so much. So what exactly happens in winters is, since the external climate is very cold, all the heat from the body is dragged and collected at the stomach area which is the place of digestive fire. Like we store thing, all the important things in our locker, our body tries to accumulate all the heat and it stores in our stomach region and that is the place of digestive fire. Hence, when uh, during these winters, when we eat uh, all kinds of uh, oily foods or uh, non-vegetarian foods, nuts, highly difficult to digest, we will be able to digest at this time because the heat is so much and that is the reason even in cold climates like um, western countries, US, UK and all, they are able to consume and digest even non-vegetarian foods without even adding the spices because they their body and within their system they themselves have the digestive fire they don't need much of uh, garam masalas or external spices for digestion so that's the reason so let us enjoy all the foods that we like and 
दिस इज द टाइम टू ईट हैव ए वंडरफुल विंटर्स थैंक यू ऑल सो मच